Let's take a look at how to use the Scarlett 2i4 audio interface. Software comes along with your audio interface. These are the instructions that were included. Here's a diagram of the Scarlett 2i4's functionality. This is an example of how I often set up my audio interface for use. Direct monitoring is a key consideration when managing latency in your project. Let's take a look at some common ways to connect your audio interface to your computer software. I'll use Logic Pro X and GarageBand's audio preferences to display how to connect your audio interface input and outputs for use with a computer. The next thing we need to do is configure your audio interface's inputs to be correct on your computer's software. I'll run through how to do this in both Logic Pro X and GarageBand. As we saw earlier in the video, I've connected my guitar into input 1 and my microphone into input 2. If your microphone requires phantom power, click on this button here. The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... When adjusting your instrument's gain settings, you want to make sure that you stay in the green here instead of being in the red. If you go over to the far right here, you'll get into the red, so it's important you want to stay in the green zone here. You want to get the uh, required uh, volume levels that you want and the settings that you require, but make sure you're in the green zone and don't go back into the red like this here. Thanks for watching, ladies. Them's the dies is the lucky ones. Hark, hark, hark.